Hey, Libra. Let's see what's coming out for you. Okay, so we have the star. All right, someone is depressed. Someone's not taking care of themselves. Somebody could be sick. Um, and they're trying to stay away from you. Or they're, they're, they're prolonging some type of messages because they could be going through some type of sickness. They want to delay some type of message because they could be sick or something like that. Um... I'm also getting like this, a person thought something through, like they're like, okay, I'm thinking this through. This is not just like, they thought something through. They've been pondering on something for a while and they're kind of delaying the message because right now they could even be depressed so they could be sick. Maybe they're supposed to be distancing themselves or something like that, but they could just be a little sick. Somebody is also not taking care of themselves. Maybe someone could be delaying some type of message or something like that because they want to take care of themselves, Okay. Um, eventually they'll be, they'll, they're going to talk to you. So eventually they give some type of message here. Eventually someone's going through some type of depression. All right. Um, it doesn't work. Okay. So someone is trying to, you have too much feminine charm, or this could be masculine charm. You are a charmer. Okay. Okay. Somebody is smitten by your feminine energy or smitten by your masculine energy. Take it, take it whichever way it needs to go, Libra. But because of the strength card, like somebody tried to, they tried to stay away from you, but they can't. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back. Telling me I need you in my life. <laughs> I got an inside joke with that song. Anyways, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody been trying to... Let's see with this star energy. This could be an Aquarius. This could be a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Libra, a Pisces. All right, it's all in their head. So this person is making themselves mad. So whatever they're doing is all in their head. Like... They get depressed or they get upset about something, but it's all in their head. Like they're making it up. So they're freaking out over at this. These are issues that aren't even true. And it's because the star needs to take care of themselves. The star needs to water themselves and take care of themselves. Somebody is, is watering everything else but themselves. So that's why they can't even think about, they can't use, somebody can't think straight. There's a person who's not thinking straight. They're going, and this may just be because like, they can really, really like you. You can have that type of effect on them or something like that. But they're just, they're just all over the place. Somebody, like one second, they're depressed. Oh, yeah, look at your beautiful smile. It's your smile that gets them all the time. And like I said, you are a charmer. You know how to charm them. You know how to get what it is that you want. Yeah, you know how to charm a person really, really well. You can get whatever it is that you want out of someone. They know this. Okay, you know this too. They try to not uh, talk to you. They made something up in their head. They made up some type of virgin. Let's see. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups here in reverse. Yeah, they made up some... Okay, so they made up some type of crazy message. They think you, you're going to tell them something crazy or they think you're going to tell them something. There's a message that's coming to them or they're going to get some crazy message when it comes to you. Um, someone is making, somebody is paranoid. I don't know why they're paranoid, but they feel like you're going to give them some bad news or something bad. Like you're coming back with some message or they're going to get something Something is coming. They feel like whatever is coming to them, what, what they're about to receive, is going to be bad energy from you for some reason. I don't know why they are making this up in their heads. This could be because of some, something in the past. Maybe something happened in the past. They still are thinking about replaying the past events. 
over and over in their head. They haven't let something go. Yeah, they haven't let something go. Something has changed. They haven't kind of um, adjusted to the changes when it comes to this new relationship, all right? So this person doesn't want to talk to you because they feel like that you're going to be mad at them. But they made it all up. There's no reason. Okay, we have a mama's boy. Maybe a person they listening to their mama. Yeah, oh, wow. Someone is listening to their mother. Someone is listening to... So someone's mother... Somebody's mother or someone's, it could be a family member, the voice of the voiceless. Somebody's mother could be getting them to believe a lot of things. It's, it's someone has influence over this. I'm getting like it could be a mother or it could be a family member. It could also be a sister. I'm getting a lot of sister energy. Um, sometimes sisters, they be mothering their brothers. So that could be that. Or this could just be... You could be listening to a mom, a friend. If someone else has a lot of influence. Yeah, that's why the star is watering everyone else's perception but theirs. That's why they're in their head. They don't know what, where to think. Because they're not. They're watering everyone else's perceptions but theirs. Like, what does this person feel? Do they feel the same way? That's why they're delaying messages. But they're taking their time. They're listening to someone else. Someone else has a lot of influence. Well, not enough because they end up coming. The plan doesn't work. I'm getting like it was three people. Mm -hmm. We have heartbreak. Heartbreak. And we have the Hierophant. Whoever this person is, somebody has a lot of respect for them. They kind of see them as a person who like knows all like the Hierophant. But really, this person is hiding something. So they're hiding some information or they have questionable intentions. Maybe this person thinks like, I don't know. Because you have you ever had a friend and you don't necessarily like their person? So everything you say could be a little bit biased because you don't necessarily like them. So, of course, you're not going to get the, you know, clear, honest, like, unbiased opinion from a person who's already you know set up their stance so i feel like somebody could have set up their stance and maybe they don't like you maybe they don't like the thought of this person being with you or maybe they feel like they're, they're someone better maybe they like the ex better maybe they feel like they in their heart they want you to get back with or they want your person to get back with their ex or someone else and they not they don't want this new love that could be that um yeah it's a lot of it's a lot of crazy. Some, so there's a person who's feeding this. This person is like, if someone is, I feel like this person, whoever is telling your person who they have this high respect, high knowledge, they are playing on the fact that your person is a little bit naive and they don't know everything. And playing on the fact that this person, like, they take my word. Like, they listen to me. They have, they have like, high respects for what I say. So, they, someone is swaying a person. But really, they're just breaking their heart. Really, they're making some type of suffering. They, they're making it worse for them. Um, yeah, they're making it worse for them. This person is clearly in love. We have the King of Cups. Um, somebody feels for you strongly. Like they feel like they have these strong feelings. They've been sitting back thinking about something over and over again. They be trying to weigh their options. They're thinking about the best thing to possibly do. Look, missing a lover. So this could be someone that they're missing. They could be possibly listening to their mother about you someone who misses you but you have too much they also could possibly look at you as like drama like they don't want no drama today but they like you
Somebody, you could be like, um, there could be a short woman that's in, uh, involved that could be judging. Maybe they have a short mother or something like that. I don't know. But it's someone that could be judging or maybe this person could just be judging you or whoever this person that's giving your person this information. They're judging you. You could be a short woman. They could be a short woman. Yeah, look, this person knows. Somebody feels like that they are too addicted to you. So if this is a mother, if this is a friend, someone feels like that you have too much power or you have too much charm, you're able, you can seduce them in a certain type of way, wherever you move, they go. Like someone doesn't like that. They don't like that. They don't like that. Someone could feel like your person is way too obsessed with you. And because of that, they could be calling you, like making it seem like that you are like making them do. It's just your feminine energy or your masculine energy. That's it. It's your feminine energy or your masculine energy. You balance them out very, very well. Maybe this is the first time that a person balanced them out that way and they could be thinking about you and realizing how much you balance them so they realize that you kind of balance them out and what you get you get this you get this love you get this knight of cups energy this loving energy this message from them because they, they they can't follow it through i feel like the moment that they sit there and ponder something out be firmly committed to your goal the moment that they sit there and ponder something out, they uh, realize that you have this effect on them. And this probably makes them call you because you get this loving message. You have this, you're judging. copycat okay so there's a sneaky link so they sneakily link up with you somebody somebody links up with you and they don't tell this person they they, they call you anyway they, they don't tell this person yeah you could be the siren somebody cannot resist you you're the siren it says the ultimate male fantasy is sexually charged presence taking control of the male libido by embodying his fantasy so whether you're a male or a, a woman it's the it's the fantasy they're either the woman's fantasy or they're the you're, you're the male's fantasy um you could be judging them For some of you guys, you think this uh, delay is has something to do with another person, but it doesn't. Like, you're judging them, like, saying, like, okay, the reason why they're delaying is because they're with somebody else. But no, the reason why they're delaying is because they got this person who they highly respect in their head that's, like, demonizing you. For real, for real. So they think that the messages that you're going to give them, they think that rejection is coming towards them from you. Or something like that. And someone could be telling you, telling them like, yeah, they don't really like you. Or they don't really. But then they sit back and they think about it. And they're like. No. They're like, no, yeah, this is a connection. The temperance had to come on out. This is a secure connection. Somebody really wants to be with you. I feel like this person could honestly tell you like what they thought that you would say or why they took long. And you're like, dang, you judge me like that. Like, why'd you get that from me? <sighs> and I feel like both of you could have misjudged each other. 
if you thought someone was was messing with someone else when really they were just they just got a lot of bad advice from people. The lovers reunite, okay? And their plan didn't work through because in there when they first started off this reading, they're like, I'm not, I'm holding it out because I thought about this. I thought strongly. I made a decision. They planned it and worked through. The plan didn't work out. Because they planned not to talk to you. They planned not to have this type of conversation with you. They planned not to say anything to you, but they couldn't help it. They had to. What does it say? Mission failed. But yeah, they don't tell this person, whoever this person is, they don't tell them that they're talking to you. Okay, we have a home matter. Yeah, someone at home. Some, something that they discussed at home. This could be a parent. This could be a sibling. Look, literally wrote down some type of plan or some type of plan. Like literally had a plan to how to handle you or a plan on how to ignore you or delay you or to whatever. There, this could be a person who's always eating. They needed some passion or something from you. Like they tried to not talk to you. They tried to avoid you, but they could. They can't. And their own inner wisdom was louder. So this is good. This is not a person who could be easily swayed. Like they may kind of like delay a little bit, listen to everybody. But at the end of the day, they're going to make their own rules. And I feel like they know that about them. Like they're going to make their own rules. Yeah, they're going to do what they want to do regardless of what anyone else says. So they may listen and may be like, yeah, listen to the group. But their true feelings did not, their true feelings did not like equate to the plan that everybody else had for their heart. Like, so this is good. This person definitely is going to follow their own heart. They don't care what another person says, no matter if they do have high respects for someone. They're going to listen to their own heart. So they're going to choose their own pathway. Um, and they do choose it. And they're willing to stand in it too. They're willing to follow their own wisdom. Like they understand that this is their solo journey. They're here and they have to kind of like, you know, follow the wisdom and the, and the discernment that's in their own heart, not in someone else's heart. So that's good. So they call you anyway. Their plan was to delay you and probably not talk to you. And listen to mama or listen to their friends or listen to whoever that they have this respect to. Or it could be their father. But they end up calling you anyway. They were misjudging you. But your charm, your feminine charm or your masculine charm is too thick for them to ignore. All right. So I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.